What's up guys, we're back with another video and today's topic we are going to be talking about the new Fallout map. But, it's got a little bit of a twist. Um, we are actually from West Virginia. Well, Cookie's originally from PA, but yeah, I'm but... from West Virginia. <laughs> so, we actually, and then we went to college in West Virginia, for those of you that don't know. We went to West Virginia University, which is in Morgantown. So, we actually know a good chunk of the like this map and the state of West Virginia. So yeah, we're going like to we'll look actually the map. be able to know what some of these places represent that people outside the state would not know. And uh, yeah. little things like that, because this is actually our state. <laughs> we don't even know this place pretty yeah. damn so we'll well. have a little bit more input to give about like on these locations and how they could be like utilized in this game. Mm -hmm. So, Let's let's get into this. So looking at this map. And this is a map, by um, the way, that's been pieced together by different fans from other little smaller versions of the map that have been shown. I think parts of it, I believe the stuff that's in yellow is confirmed by Fallout that that is in the game. Uh, the stuff in orange is mm -hmm. suspected, but not completely confirmed. It's just expected that that's probably going to be in the game. So that's just that's that's yes. the difference there. So this isn't so necessarily this isn't a, confirmed exactly, but... It's not a complete map yet. Yeah, very but close, though. one of the major points right off the bat is obviously Morgantown. We're going to go from, like, the top bottom. Uh, Morgantown is pretty huge. I mean, it's one of the biggest uh, towns or cities in this state. And, I mean, that's obviously where the uh, West Virginia University is. So we know a good bit about Morgantown. I just don't know how... Uh, detail they're going to get with like Morgantown well I mean like based on what we've seen in the past like Fallout 4 in Boston and how detailed they were even with distances between places obviously it's not perfect because they're not making it for scale um, but they really did do a lot in trying to make it very very similar in distance from like where Fenway Park was and Old North Church and uh, Bunker Hill those places were, like, that was pretty relatively close to how it actually was. Like, they tried to get that pretty good uh, pretty good distance from stuff. Now, obviously, since they're doing the whole state of West Virginia, even though the map's four times bigger, uh, I'm assuming the trip from Charleston to Morgantown will not be very realistic at all because from Charleston to Morgantown is, no. like, four hours in a car. So <laughs> it's, it's definitely not going to be... That it was about accurate. two hours from Morgantown to Charleston, but yeah, the developer. Ugh, I can't talk. The developers have even said that they're going to like smush it together to try to make it, because they mm -hmm. obviously can't make it to scale for the entire state. But I would imagine Morgantown would be pretty much the size of like one of the cities from Fallout Four, because you can't go into scaling the whole town. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, I, I would imagine there's going to be some pretty interesting things. Like, I see Vault Tech Universities on there. And, it's be, I mean, God, it's hopefully be WVU, WVU, I would imagine. Yeah, and I mean, there's some uh, decent they, landmarks in there, too, that they can mess around with. Yeah, like stuff. some of the buildings they showed in the gameplay. I think was the a building only one that we had class in. Yeah, Woodburn Hall. I had a couple Spanish classes in Woodburn Hall. That's definitely a. It's uh, crazy to think about. That, that's going to be so epic. Well, I went to the journalism school at WVU, <clears throat> and Woodburn Hall is part of the Woodburn Circle, which is uh, Clark Hall is right next to it, is the journalism school. So I'm really hoping that they also incorporate Clark Hall, and then that's all like, <laughs> that's one big giant, um, like, blowing up stuff, and I can go back to where all my journalism classes were. That'd be kind of mm. epic. No, <laughs> yeah, way. like, obviously a lot of these stuff are going to be changed for, like, Fallout lore in terms of, like, names of buildings and stuff because uh like the morgantown train yard i don't even know if there is a morgantown train yard. Uh, I, there's like this one place i remember it's close to like next to the mon river i think it looks kind of like a rail yard that could be it mm -hmm. i think that's that's the best i can think of I, mean, I don't know if that's actually it or not that's huh. that's i think that do you know what I'm talking? I think it's below that one bridge, um, near this yeah, the Star City I think area. About. Um, okay. And then there's like random things added in. There's like lumber mills, and there's a bunch of these, uh, 
random spots that aren't really major landmarks. They're just sort of like fallout made up areas. But then we have like Harper's Ferry and uh, oh, what else have we got on here? Obviously Charleston which will, is the capital and will have the capital mm-hmm. building. Um, and then uh, what else is there? I'm pretty sure the gorge is on here. I don't see it. Yeah, but the New River Gorge is stuff. definitely on there, yeah. They were talking New about that River, too. River Gorge will be like really deep, kind of like a trench. It's just a huge, uh, just it's just nothing but woods. So mm-hmm. who knows what would be at the bottom? There's oh. just, there's got to be some kinds of crazy creatures and crap down there. I lied too. It's not Clark Hall. It's Chitwood Hall is what I'm thinking of. I thought I might have got that wrong. Clark Hall is the science building. Just as a because mm. <laughs> people are gonna think I'm totally lying now because I totally <laughs> said the wrong hall. But yeah, it's Chitwood Hall, not uh, Clark Hall. I said that wrong. Just to elaborate there. But yeah, I mean the whole <clears throat> everything about the. Uh, university is going to be that much cooler just because we've actually been there and there like you said there's not that many um they haven't like gone into the specifics of which parts they'll show except for woodburn hall it's the only hall we actually saw in the trailer um but it'll be interesting to see which parts of it are kept like i mean the coliseum the basketball stadium if that's going to be in there or the football stadium and the football stadiums changed multiple times at the whole time period's all over the place, so you're not really sure which buildings they'll keep, which ones they would take away. Um, and plus, uh, Morgantown is one extremely cramped uh, city. It's, it's smashed on the side of a hill. It's not really much of a city. I mean, there's no skyscrapers or anything, but it, it's all smashed in together, yeah. so everything's really, really close together. So, and I, I think you can tell based off of this map that whoever is speculating, they obviously don't know the landmarks and stuff because if you look down towards the bottom it says west virginia university question mark and it's like uh clear to the right of charleston obviously west virginia university isn't going to be there it would be in morgantown where the what's interesting is though are they assuming that's some kind of university though i mean there's multiple colleges well, because so, then it would have I to mean, be what Marshall. Marshall's the Marshall second biggest university. university. Is, big, is the second. And that's biggest in Huntington. Place. Huntington's more to the south, so that would kind of make sense. Um, yeah. So that could potentially and then be it. There Marshall's is the Greenbrier. The Greenbrier uh-huh. is has been confirmed, which is going to have their spin on it. And for those of you that don't know, the Greenbrier is a really fancy golf course. And Mm -hmm. it is known because that is where one of the presidential vaults in real life was. Uh, Mm -hmm. So, like, if there was ever, like, a nuclear war or something, the president would go there underneath the golf course, and there's a a real-life vault, which is pretty cool. I wonder how they're going to tie that in with uh, Fallout lore. Well, even uh, when Todd Howard was talking about it, he said that was part of the reason they used it is because there was so much weird, like, FBI secrets and all that stuff in West Virginia, which is true because uh, uh, Robert Byrd, who was one of our senators for a really, really long time, did all kinds of stuff with the FBI, and I think they had, like, multiple big FBI buildings in the middle of nowhere in West Virginia. So there's a lot of, like, weird fbi backstories and stuff that goes on yeah. uh with the state of west virginia so i i bet you anything fallout would incorporate that well i mean the president would have to get somewhere fast if nukes were going off because they're going to try to nuke dc so where can you go that people aren't going to nuke that's close by and it's obviously west virginia it's just nothing but woods and countryside like why would anyone nuke west virginia it's just nothing but forest and stuff so yeah. it makes sense for them to put bunkers here. So that, and then all these different creatures and the lore and stuff, like Mothman. Mothman has been a thing forever in West Virginia. Mm-hmm. Um, like there's a statue of Mothman, and it, it's a tourist attraction, and they sell T-shirts and all kinds of stuff. So the fact that they're bringing that, I mean, he, Mothman is basically the Bigfoot of West Virginia. Yeah, and they're gonna have him as like been a lot of sightings of it and stuff. And they said it's like made people kill people, I think, or made people kill themselves. A lot of weird, crazy stories with what Mothman has done in West Virginia. It's Mm -hmm. pretty interesting. And this map is, I mean, it's not 100 percent perfect because obviously everything's smushed together. But 
I'm not going to give away anything like personal, but some of these marks that I'm looking at on this map are sitting on top of where my real life home <laughs> would have been. Yeah. If it was to scale, which, which is, is kind of crazy. Insane. I mean, I assume they're not going to have like it like it, it, for it's a, a person who house. <laughs> Literally is at these has been at these places for years. Like obviously in college and stuff, these are places we saw all the time, like every day. And we're gonna see them in ashes and stuff, and like the Fallout universe way of things with overgrown grass and stuff. Accurate it'll be. I mean, I only visited Boston once, but I still remembered that a lot of that stuff in Fallout Four looked extremely accurate to the real thing. Like, I, I obviously didn't live in Boston, but I remember visiting Boston. I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that. It looks exactly like it. Like, I knew the place before the game told me what the place was because it was so accurately done. Like, that's pretty pretty impressive by what they did with Boston. So I'd imagine they'd be pretty damn accurate with what they do in West Virginia just because mm-hmm. Bethesda and that whole company takes this kind of stuff very, very seriously. And, of course, there's a lot of talk about coal mines and stuff, which obviously is ridiculously huge in West Virginia. Um, basically funded the whole state forever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Still kind of well, does, the, even though it's falling apart. I can only imagine that you could go down inside a coal mine. That would be scary as balls. Mm-hmm. Like Because there's tons of coal mines, and there's like elevator shafts and stuff that you could go down. And I could, there's got to be some sort of like monsters hidden in a coal mine. And you would imagine in a nuclear fallout, people would try to go to the coal mines to hide from the nukes. So there's probably tons oh, yeah. of people trapped it's, inside these coal mines. Which is yeah. like a really creepy, interesting Which is scary thing. Scary because it's not safe in a coal mine, but I guess it's better than a nuke. Yeah. There's a couple of uh, interesting places on this map, too, um, because West Virginia has so much random lore and just like weird stuff about it. There's two haunted places on this map, or potentially haunted, because both of them are in orange, so they're not confirmed. But some people may have heard of Moundsville State Prison, which is a abandoned state prison in West Virginia. Very haunted. Uh, it's expected that there's all kinds of crazy shit happens in there. They actually have a thing where they'll let you stay in stay in the prison for free for one night if you can make it. Because you'll usually get so terrified you'll run out. <laughs> so you'll ask to be let out of the prison. It's so freaky. It says it somewhere, I think it's north of Vault 76. There's something that says, or no, sorry, it's uh, to the east of Vault 76. It says something like, this might be the Moundsville State Prison. Which would be really cool. It would make a lot of sense because it's creepy as hell. <laughs> it's perfect for Fallout. Yeah. There's also a... Uh, I think it is to the west. Yeah, According it's to, to the west. Map. And they say this might be Moundsville State Prison, which would... I'm not sure how accurate that is cool. by the real like direction of where that um, is, but still. Do you remember pretty cool. what the town and, is where uh, Oh, Alabama's football coach is from? <sighs> it's Grafton, isn't it? Gra- no, it might be. Is it Grafton or Granville? Something starts with a G. I don't remember. I could look up which yeah, one. Yeah, he's from here. There's from. a bunch of Nick people. Saban. Don Knotts is from here. Well, Jimbo yeah, Fisher Saban is the is coach here. of Florida State, too. Um, a lot of random coaches. Yeah, there's some definitely some different landmarks that would be really... It would almost be like a horror aspect. Actually, Nick Saban's from Fairmont. Oh well, there's which a, I know where that oh, is okay. too. There's got to be a because it's not going to be a lot of city. It's going to be a lot of wood, a lot of swamp, a lot of just creepy wilderness kind of stuff, and not so much town. So I wonder how they're going to incorporate all the woods. Like there's mm-hmm. got to be a crap ton of like bugs and radioactive creatures and shit. Yeah. Well, the the like, there's six. I mean, there's six major areas. You know, the forest, ash heap. Savage Divide, Toxic Valley, The Mire, and Cranberry Bog so far. The forest mainly seems to occupy Morgantown and some of the surrounding area. So what's interesting, it probably means that Morgantown's overgrown with like trees and stuff, which would be pretty mm-hmm. pretty epic looking because obviously in real life there's not trees all over the place, at least not in the city of Morgantown. <laughs> so that whole area being forested is kind of cool. And then it looks like Charleston is just an ash heap, which means it must have been nuked to hell. Uh, which kind of looks like what we saw in the uh, trailer. Look like Charleston. Oh no, Charleston is above too. that ash heap on the map. Is Charleston above the? Ash- oh, I see. Yeah, it's right above the ash heap. Yeah. So right below Charleston is the ash heap. In other words, yeah. Hmm. Huh. So it's like Lewisburg is down there and stuff. 
I mean, I find it yeah, interesting exactly. because, like, unless you're from West Virginia, a lot of this stuff you won't, like, get necessarily. But they still went into – it looks like they've gone into great detail to make sure it's accurate with West Virginia, which I – kind of amazed by it because it's not you can it's not a highly populated area the time to come here and to actually check out the landscape like they've they found out things about West Virginia i didn't even know and like my mom and like her whole family's from this area and this is like my mom's told me about west virginia forever like like somebody said i didn't i wasn't raised in west virginia but i moved there and my mom I uh, live there all the time. So it's like, and there's still like, I didn't know about a lot of these monsters. I didn't know a lot about a lot of this folklore and fallout went deep into it uh, to find all this random stuff, which is really, really cool. And, and really respectful too of the area. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know about West Virginia. There's still people that uh, like when I've traveled the country and stuff and I told them I was from West Virginia, people will ask, is that, western virginia and yeah. you don't realize that it's its own so, state which is nothing more sad. insulting to somebody from west virginia than being told is that the western part of virginia like no it's a state <laughs> no, been that no, way for 150 years <laughs> so, <laughs> it's so fucking stupid yeah but there's a lot of stuff and then yeah as more stuff comes out and is confirmed and they show gameplay and stuff we can also like break that down and sit there and compare the two like to scale like oh this building is in morgantown we'll be able to tell you oh well, yeah it looks just like it yeah and also the whole idea of this map really fits in with the way they're trying to do the game because west virginia as opposed to somewhere like boston or pittsburgh uh those places would make sense if they had more population like there were actually more people there however west virginia is in the middle of nowhere for the most part and it would make sense that there's not that many people there. And it's a big, big map. And they said there's it's not going to be super highly populated, at least not nearly as much as the other Fallout games. And, I mean, it's a wasteland already anyway, so it's already a nuclear Fallout. So there's already not going to be that many people there. But it's probably not going to be super-duper inhabited with people, which is kind of mm-hmm. interesting. It's a different – it's going to have a lot more exploring elements to it. And West Virginia's got a lot to explore. Oh, I know it's like – tons of areas that – would be interesting to explore i'd be very curious how they incorporate all those stuff like we talked about with the monsters and the coal mines and uh all the fbi buildings and stuff and the secrets that's going on a ton of mountains i mean if if it's accurate it's going to be tons of hills west virginia is nothing but hills and probably have like everywhere underground tunnels in the hills and and different like craters and who knows? Just in the woods itself, there's because I know there's tons of stuff people hide in the woods. Like they have hidden shacks, mm-hmm. they have in real life hidden bunkers that they've hid in the woods. So who knows what what you can find? Yeah, and I think that like what was really cool with what they did with Boston, like they turned Fenway Park into Diamond City and everything, which is really epic how they incorporated that, and really epic how they incorporated the old North Church uh, to be like the home base of the railroad. There was so much cool stuff they did to incorporate landmarks. I'm really excited to see how they incorporate the big landmarks in West Virginia. You know, the Greenbrier, the Charleston Capitol, Woodburn Hall, New River Gorge. I mean, there's things like Waffle Rock, which some people might not know what that is, but, like, that could be incorporated into this, too. There's, uh, I forgot the name of it now, the One Rock that's pretty close to Morgantown. It's uh, Cooper's Rock. Sidling Hill. Well, yeah, Cooper's Rock, too. I forgot about that. I was thinking of Sidling Hill, I think, but that might technically not be West Virginia. I think it's like, anyway, it's not the point. But Toxic Valley is also interesting because it almost looks like it incorporates part of Western Pennsylvania, because Morgantown's yeah. basically right on the border or pretty close to the border of West Virginia and Pennsylvania. It's only like thirty minutes away. So if it's a whole lot northerner of Morgantown, it would you'd be getting into Western PA basically. So. Hmm. That might get incorporated. Oh. I mean, it says Wheeling and stuff up there, so maybe they're talking about the north. That would be like the yeah. northwest of that. So I don't well, know. There's a lot of interesting stuff. What do you guys think stuff. of this map? What, do you think it'll be interesting? Let us know uh, what your thoughts are down in the comments down below. Um, we'll do frequent updates to this. Like we said, as more content is released, we will break it down for you guys. And that's going to do it for us. And we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank mm-hmm. you.